we doing? Have a seat, have a seat. Little Piglet here with another video, and today we're going to be talking about Dragon Dogma. I've been following this game for a while from other content creators, so I think it's really interesting, so let's talk about it. So I've been a big fan of Capcom lately. I've played Monster Hunter out at the Wazoo lately over 200 hours currently when the hype was going around on that and i love that game so i'm really excited about this one and really want to see where it goes long waited for this action rpg hack and slash game dragon dogma 2 is finally coming and i can't be more excited we've been waiting since 2012 for this game for this announcement in general announced during its 10th anniversary back in 2022 the director himself um, and the art director and the designer all confirmed their involvement in the sequel. Sadly, this was right around the time the trial went cold, which in turn led to several months of prolonged silence. And now, well, now it's coming out this month, so let's go. Just to catch us up on the story, the final chapters of the 2012 Dragon Dogma saw us ascending to godhood pretty much, and this dragon and dragon dogma wiped out this entire city. As of what happened after this cycle ended remains unclear, which leads us to believe that the sequel will cast a light over these burning questions in one way or the other. But who's to say it won't draw an eye on a completely different time period altogether? The players would start with four vocations, that's thief, mage, fighter, archer, and that's how the game starts off. And then later on, as you keep continuing playing and progress through the storyline, you get to choose between Mystic, Magic, Archer, Warrior, Sorcerer, or even a Trickster. The Mystic Spearhead is by far one of the coolest and I'm most excited for to even try out. Uh, I mean, look at these moves. Hans are AI controlled companions that are returning to this game uh, designed to make the single player adventure feel shared. You'll be able to travel with one player created pawn and up to two others created by others. These downloaded pawns will come with all of their experiences from the other players adventures, meaning they may come equipped with gear you get yet to find or provide useful information about quests they've been through that you have yet to complete. The really new big twist on pawns for the second game is specializations or special abilities per se, they're going to have that now. Dragon's Dogma 2 is set in a high fantasy world inspired by classical paintings and medieval art. Players will explore a map roughly four times larger than the original game. Despite the massive size of the map, they claim there isn't much wasted space, so hopefully there's no emptiness in this game. That's what I'm really hoping for, because I hate that walking around into an emptiness of nothingness, of wasted time and effort into searching for nothing. According to Capcom, the sequel was created in an RE engine um, just to provide an all-real fantasy world crafted by gorgeous visuals as well. This engine was used to develop most of Capcom's major titles since Resident Evil 7 in 2017. So with Capcom utilizing a newer game engine, these mechanics will no doubt feel a lot slicker and will more than likely incorporate additional features and ability. Whatever the case may be, you can definitely expect to see the class system returning in a whole new light. Anything else is just a bonus at this point, to be fair. I hope you found this video informational and what's to come on Dragon Dogma 2. If so, click that like button, click subscribe as well. We have content like this coming out always. Um, but yeah, thank you so much, guys. See ya.